Even ladies and gentlemen, this is Darlington Ibegwe, Darlington Florence Ibegwe. Lately, I've been receiving lots of threats, and uh, the latest one is coming from the office of the Attorney General of Fimo State, that is the Barrister C.O.C. Akolisa. And uh, I've gotten privileged information that they, would, they want to arrest me, that they are concluding plans with the DSS to arrest me for telling Imo people the truth about what is going on in our state and what they did at the Royal Spring Farm, the people they shot, uh, how the government came there with saying they were able and they were releasing bullets periodically, shooting at people and all of that. So the government, which was obviously threatened that this information came out, is now making moves at the moment to arrest me. So I want to let Imo people know that if anything happens to me, they should hold the government of the day responsible. They should hold Barista C.O.C. Akolisa responsible. I am not running from Imo State. I have gotten so many calls from people, even insiders in the government, telling me to run from Imo. But I've told them one thing, I will not run from Imo State. I'm from Mumuchuku village in Uncle, a local government. I cannot even hide in Imo State. I can't hide in Imo State. Even if I want to, I can't. It's not possible. Darlene Sinibekwe cannot hide in Imo State. I'm somebody who is always accessible. I'm somebody whom everybody can always see at any point in time. So I want everybody to be aware of this very development, of their plans to arrest me using the Department of uh, State Security, that's the DSS. If anything happens to me, I want the whole world to hold Barista C.O.C. Akolisa. I want the whole world to know that I'm somebody who cannot run from Imo. I am, uh, everybody knows me, I mean, the chief of staff to the Imo state government currently is Sanam Dianyehe, he's my uncle and by blood, so he knows me, he knows me too well, he knows me too well, he knows me too well, and I, 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 I believe one of the very reasons that they are paying is because an insider, somebody who is a family member, is telling Imo people the truth about their fraudulent uh, government, if anything happens to me, hold hope who's are my responsible hold coc code is responsible hold the chief of staff responsible hold the government appointees responsible hold the union able responsible i am not running from imo because of this i'll be more visible in imo states i'll keep on coming out to more functions and i'll be announcing wherever i'll be at they can come and arrest me i just want imo people to know that this is what they are up to this is what they are planning but I will not leave Imo for anybody. I will remain in Imo state and I will keep telling the government the truth. And I will keep busting their lies. I will keep telling Imo people that these guys are criminals, that this is what and what and what they are up to. I will keep telling Imo people. God bless us all. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Darlington Ibegwe. And uh, the host of with the uh, Royal Spring Palm uh, Saga today, a video was just released online from uh, the Hope New Media Center, from the DJ Hope New Media Center and their other hirelings. I saw something there at that part on that particular video. One of uh, the security men, one of the security men attached to uh, the, 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 the estate at Akachi was arrested. He was beaten up, arrested, manhandled. Uh, so I, I, I hope you guys are aware that some people were even shot there. Two people have been confirmed dead so far. And uh, in the video, they forced this guy. This guy obviously spoke under duress. This guy was speaking with fear. If you saw that video, you would see that this guy was speaking out of fear. This guy said uh, that uh, earlier in the day that some people came from the Ministry of Lands. That's the Union Ebu and his uh, rats that they came from a Ministry of Lands and while coming from Israel, they sealed the place, unsealing the place. Then uh, they told them not to let anyone in and out, and that was that. So later during the day, I think a few minutes after that information dropped, I was at Royal Spring Pan. It was I myself, uh, Ebuka Abazo, and uh, Wandi Kechikezi. So we were there. We came there in a Toyota Sienna, in my Sienna. And uh, on arriving there, we didn't come with any police officer. Everybody knows that uh, Darlene Snibiku does not have a police officer. I don't have a police officer attached to me. 
uh, when the case case does not have police officer attached to him, Ebu Kabas does not have a police officer attached to him. What do we need police officers for? We don't move around with police officers. So how? What we now saw from this uh, media hirelings of the governor is that uh, we came there with uh, police officers and we came with the uh, police vehicles too. And uh, we, we told those working at Rhea Spring Pam, we told the security men at Rhea Spring Pam that we are coming from the state government and that we are coming to open this place. One good thing about all of this is that right from the entry point, I was live on Facebook and uh, everybody saw how I entered there. Even the way I communicated with the security man who was at the gate would tell every single person that I have not spoken with this guy all through the day. The guy was even quite confused. He was, if you watch that video, we said the guy was even quite confused. The young man was uh, quite startled. He wasn't really understanding what was going on. Probably out of uh, fear of what happened earlier from hopes or the man in the honorable's uh, talks and hoodlums. After that live video, I got so many threats from uh, the higher limbs of the state government. It said before 7 p.m. that they will now show us what government power means. They stormed that place. They started shooting sporadically. They beat people up. They looted things there with the help of their police officers from government's house. They stole from uh, they stole from Royal Spring Pam. They they beat people up. They did all manner of crazy things. They locked people up, took the security guys up. Uh, one of them is the one security guy they took to government house to make that false video. They did all manner of it. And one funny thing is that that particular security guy, we never had an encounter with him. We didn't even talk to him. We, 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 we didn't talk to him. He's not the security guy at the gates. No. There's another security guy at the gates, and that one was, we saw it in the video when it was, the video is on Imo State New Media Facebook page. I use some people who were seen in the video, like uh, in your neighbor, uh, who is the commissioner for lands in the states. We also saw uh, uh, Mrs. Namako Kafo, who is the S in New Media to the governor. We saw uh, reporters from channels, AIT, uh, NTA, and, uh, uh, and what have you, and also reporters from IBC Orient, with statesman newspaper. We saw them there. So it's not like they are hiding. The, the, the video, the video was there. And one crazy thing is that they were, they even filmed it themselves when their police officers were busy shooting at people. They shot life ammunitions at people who did nothing to them. People, emo people who are lodged at a Royal Spring Pam. Maybe emo people who even voted them into power. People, tourists from other states. Diplomats and all of that who come to Real Spring Pam all, all the time to 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 to, 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 to glove. It's a shame that Hopos Odema and his cronies have decided to turn him a state to a war zone. It's a shame that he has decided to turn him a state to a war zone. Hopos Odema would always claim that he has no property ongoing in Imo State, but he is currently building a house just around the uh, what's this place? Uh, What's the name of this place again? Just around this UBA bank that is along a uh, Wedral Axis. Close to Everright. Close to Everright. He is building a, 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 a mansion there with him with state money. On your blame and I hope pages in here, on your blame and I hope it's ready before he got this stuff from Supreme Court. Everybody in Mana Hope was on the maturity finally. Everybody man who was on the maturity. Somebody has been raising an alarm online. Uh, Mr. Citizen, Citizen Iwonha, AK here, who else from Munkwe? He has been showing pure evidence of how the uh, local government auditor, the uh, local government auditor general, has been siphoning billions of uh, local government funds. He sent petitions to the governor, but the governor clamped down on it. Reason being that the governor is obviously receiving kickbacks from this man. AK1 here published how a, a, a man who works for a, a state government who earns 93,000 naira, this man that earns 93,000 naira has buildings worth billions of naira across Owerri and in Abuja. How is it possible? How is it possible? It's a shame that Imo State has uh, been turned to a war zone and this is being done by the state government. Uh, one thing about this is that uh, I, I, I urge more people to start speaking up. Because one thing about this is that when two elephants are fighting, 
the grass suffers it. So when you, you hope Uzodema is busy fighting the culture who is not fighting him, the citizens will suffer. And why we are even at it? Why we are all busy talking about the uh, Uzodema and the uh, uh, Governor uh, Senator Kuro Charles Reeves? I hope you guys are aware that the contractor handling the Ihiagwa, the Boli Neke the Ihiagwa Road, has abandoned that project because no fund was released to him. He was just used for for photo ops and all of that, which is what this government is known for. They are dirty you to go to dealings and uh, they are dirty, uh, they are dirty you to go to dealings basically. All those men who were part of government, uh, who were part of the Otoko saga from uh, 1996 are all back. The likes of Charles Sovier, who opposed to them uh, and all of them, they are all back. 19 boys, they are back. Maurice because who's that? They are all back. It's a shame. But Anya uh, kind of name. One thing I believe so much na umu chineke game maybe a queen sword will go logo. And they won. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't and turn on the bell so you get to know when we upload new video. That is the update. And I will see us on my next video. Bye guys.